Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I thought it would be really fun to do a clean and decorate our homeschool room with me and so that is what I'm going to do today. We are about to go on Christmas break and even though we don't take a very long break, I wanted to make sure that I had the room a little bit cleaner before we left it for break and I also wanted to decorate it while we were doing school. Uh, leading up to Christmas just to make it more fun and exciting because I remember when I was in school I loved whenever our class teacher would decorate the room for Christmas so that's what I'm going to be doing with you guys today. Okay so the first thing I'm going to do is clean off my youngest daughter's desk and get it all disinfected really good and of course get all the glue and marker and everything that's on there wiped off and clean. She had decorated her own desk recently for Christmas. She made those two little signs on the side and then has a the little fairy in the middle. So I decided to go ahead and leave the signs that she made but I did end up taking the fairy off but I wanted to get a good clean surface to start with and then I would put out all the Christmas decorations that I have accrued. Pretty much everything came from Dollar Tree I think except for the lights that I end up putting in the window and a little Christmas tree that I got from Walmart but I think most of the things came from Dollar Tree. After that, I'm just going to go through the bookshelves and kind of put things where they go, uh, wipe off the shelves a little bit and just try to organize a little bit. I had a few things that I wanted to sell, so I put those out in the garage and I'm just and wiping, wiping everything, everything off really well. know do you have a designated homeschooling space do you work on the kitchen table do you have an office I would like to know if you guys want to let me know if you homeschool where do you do most of your homeschool day And this letter board actually came from Amazon. I try to remember to change it every season or every holiday. Sometimes I get behind and don't do it, but I decided to go ahead and get it done and make it say Merry Christmas so that every time we walk in, we are greeted with that. over to the other bookshelf I do have these two Ikea they used to be called Expedits I believe now they're called Calyx they hold so much stuff they're really inexpensive and one of these used to be in the playroom but we moved it down here to the office and it's working out really well to hold the girls crafts and art supplies in one and homeschool books and supplies in the other
I did decide to go ahead and take down her fairy, which she didn't really love <laughs> that I did, but I, I just couldn't make myself hang the garland over top of it and it wouldn't have looked right underneath it. So I did go ahead and take that down, but I did leave up her little signs that she made and I just taped this ornament ball garland that I got from Dollar Tree on the front of her desk. And for those of you who might be wondering, I didn't completely leave out my oldest daughter. If you know, I have a 15 year old and a nine year old. My 15 year old now is no longer in the homeschool room with us. She has a desk up in the playroom that is just hers. It's where she puts on her makeup. It's where she does her school. And so I did end up going upstairs and I did string another set of this garland around her desk and also a little string of light so she wouldn't be left out. I go, wiping things down, and then decorating as I go. can't that you didn't see in this video is I did find some suction cup hooks at Dollar Tree that I ended up sticking on the inside of the window and hanging a set of Christmas lights inside the window behind the blind so you'll see that in the after shot. So now everything is decorated. It turned out really cute. It looks a lot better in person than it does on camera. Sometimes when you're trying to film lights, they never work out the way that you really see them with your actual eyes. But I think it turned out really cute. Both girls loved it. My youngest daughter is super excited to do school in there every day with all the different decorations. I think my favorite thing is this little tree from Walmart. These ornaments are adorable. All of the ornaments and the tree came from Walmart. Super cute and very affordable. Even Bean got her own little decorations on the top and don't worry, she doesn't climb so she's not gonna be able to get to any of that little garland. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and it inspired you to decorate your house or your homeschool room for Christmas. Even if you don't have a room like this, which is also my office, but even if you don't have a room like this, there's little things you can do to make it special for your kids, whether it's a Christmas pencil and eraser or decorating maybe a cubby they have in the corner of the living room or something like that, just to make it fun and special. I think that's one of the best things about having kids and then also homeschooling is there's so many fun little things you can do for your kids that may seem small, but they're gonna remember and make a big difference in their life and give them good, happy memories. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure if you did, you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.